In my last video, I showed this vertical axis wind turbine that I had designed. I had lots of problems with the turbine flexing and also the pole flexing. The end results were disappointing and the turbine didn't spin nearly as fast as I hoped it would. This video is going to show experiments that I've performed since I first tried this turbine. This turbine has a 5 foot diameter and the blades are 4 feet long. 20 square feet of area. My pole is only a one inch pipe, and I think that's just too much turbine for that size of a pole. The first thing I did was cut off about a foot of length off each end of the blades. This left them about two feet long. It turned out that making the turbine smaller was very handy because now it would fit through a doorway. So I could work on the turbine indoors when I was done, carry the complete turbine outside to try. I thought I could improve the speed of the turbine by making the surface of the blades more smooth, so I covered them with colored packaging tape. It didn't seem to help. The next thing I worked on was the sagging of the blades and this bouncing flexing action that you see here. I solved that by putting wire supports between the tops of the blades. That worked pretty well, but the turbine still turned too slowly. At this point I had decided that I was going to try a different blade shape because this elliptical blade was not working out. I decided to try the S1223 airfoil. This is an airfoil that won the heavy lifting competition in models and it was thought in our bought form that it might be good for a vertical axis wind turbine. I set the angle of attack to 9 degrees inward because that's what somebody said would work out well. This airfoil has a really thin trailing edge and it took some experimentation with wire speed and wire heat to cut it correctly. And this is what the blade looked like when it was done. The winds were pretty slow on this day, maybe 5 miles an hour but I didn't have any luck with this blade at all. Uh, it wouldn't self-start, and if I gave it a push, it would just slow down to a stop. If you watch its motion here, you can see there are points where there's high forward torque, and then there's points where there's high backwards torque to slow it down. After these blades didn't work, I simulated them and the simulation shows that there is more negative torque than positive torque, which is pretty much what I saw. The next airfoil I decided to try was the NACA0020. This is a plain old symmetrical airfoil. I also added a second set of wires on the bottoms of the blades since the top ones help so much. Of course, in the four days since I've had this turbine complete, I haven't had a windy day yet. The wind on this day is about four and a half miles an hour. And I, uh, it self starts, but it doesn't go very fast. And I try to spin it up, but it just slows back down. Now I know this blade is supposed to have a high speed mode, but I haven't seen it yet. And I don't know if that's due to the flexing of the pole or just that the winds are too slow. I can't do anything about the wind, so I eliminated the pole. I mounted the VOT to a portable workbench, which was a lot more stable. And it pretty much behaved the same way. It would self-start, but it would not spin up to high speeds. On one day, we had winds up to a whopping 6.6 .6 miles an hour, with some bursts up to maybe a little over 7. I got some hint of what this turbine might do. I'm going to turn up the camera mic so that you can hear the wind speed. It sounds like a tornado, but the anemometer was really reading 6.6 .6 miles an hour.
as things were getting exciting, the wind died on me again and the bot slowed back down. If I assume the wind was 7 miles an hour, I believe that hit a TSR of 2.3, which isn't too bad. since put the bot back on the pole, and I haven't had winds above six and a half miles an hour, so I don't know if this thing will spin up on the pole or not. So everything you see here was done in six to seven mile per hour winds, maybe with gusts up to eight. I am really looking forward to getting a day of steady 10 mile per hour winds to see what this thing will do.